y'all. Welcome to fifth grade, chapter 10, lesson four. We're going to go ahead and get started with number two. So says, after made a chicken dish for dinner, she added 10 ounce package of vegetables, 14 ounce package of rice, 40 ounce package of chicken. What was the total weight of the chicken in pounds? Okay. We're going to add up how many ounces it is. We're going to put that number of ounces here. That number of ounces, we're going to divide by 16 to find out. Okay. All right. Let's do this. So first, four, six, we're good. So 64 ounces, where 16 ounces is one pound. Okay. So let's put our 64 in there. Okay. Well, 16 is not going to go into six, but 16 times four is 64. So four pounds. Okay. Okay. Now the hardest thing to remember about the next one. Well, first let's read it. A jar contains 26 fluid ounces of spaghetti sauce. How many cups of spaghetti sauce do four jars contain? So the biggest thing you need to remember here is that when it's liquid, it's talking about fluid ounces. When it's weight, it's talking about ounces. Okay. So. First, let's find out how many fluid ounces there are. Four times six, 24, carry our two. Four times two is eight, plus two, 10. So 104 fluid ounces, where one cup is eight ounces. So we're gonna take that 104 and we're gonna put it in here because we've canceled out our ounces. We're left with cups and that's exactly what we need, okay? So, okay. Eight's not going to go into one, but it'll go into 10 one time. One times eight is eight. Subtract, get two. Okay. Two is smaller than eight, so we're going to bring down our four. Eight goes into 24. 13 times. Three times eight is 24. Boom. 13 cups. Okay. Don't forget to write down your work, guys. Okay. Now, this one is a little bit more work, as you can see. Okay, so we're going to, it says, Coach Kent brings three quarts of sports drink to soccer practice. He gives the same amount of the drink to each of the 16 players. How many ounces of the drink does each player get? So we need to turn those quarts into ounces, which is all the way down here. Okay, so first we're going to cross cancel quarts. Done. Pint. Done. Cups done we are left in ounces which is what we need okay so now we have to multiply straight across so three times two is six times two is twelve and twelve times eight eight times two is sixteen carry the one eight times one is eight plus one is nine ninety six so ninety six is going to go in there so i'm actually just going to multiply sixteen i'm going to find my multiples of sixteen until we get as close as we can to ninety six without going over Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to write them over here, and I'll write them in pink, okay? So, so we know 16 times 1 is 16, so 16 times 2 I know is 32, okay? I know that 16 times 3 is 48. I know that 16 times 4 is 64, and I know that 16 times 5 is 80. Oh, which means if we added 16, we would get 96. So I guess I don't have to actually do the multiplication. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 ounces each. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm going to let you guys do 5 through 8. On your own, you totally can. Okay. And you're going to do the lesson check on the back. Okay. We're going to go down and do this file review. It says the jump rope is nine feet long. How long is the jump rope in yards? Okay. So nine feet is what we're starting with. When three feet are in one yard, which means when we multiply straight across, we get nine over three. Okay. I'm going to zoom that in just a little bit so y'all can see. Okay. So 
9 over 3, well, 3 goes into 9 three times. 3 yards. Okay? All right. Fill in the blanks to make the following statement true. 8 cups is how many quarts is how many pints? Okay. So, 8 cups. Let me grab one of my little scrap pieces of paper here. Okay. So, all right, eight cups. Well, I can't go straight from cups to quarts, so I'm gonna have to stop at, I'm gonna have to make a pit stop at pints, okay? When two cups are in one pint, okay? And two pints are in one quart, okay? So now I need to do eight, Divided by two times two is four, okay? So it's gonna be two quarts, okay? Now, if we were to stop right here, we would have how many pints, okay? Well, eight divided by two is four, okay? Oops, sorry, show, can you see that? Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, make sure that you guys write down your work, okay. All right, the unknown number in sequence two, what is the unknown number in sequence two in the chart? Okay, so let's see how we're getting from sequence one to sequence two. So I could add three or I could multiply by two, okay? So three plus three is six, six plus three is not 12, it's nine, okay? So three times two is six, six times two is 12, nine times two is 18, that's right. So 21 times two, well, that's 42. Okay. All right. A farmer divides 20 acres of land into one quarter sections. How many sections does the farmer have to divide a land? Okay. So 20 acres and the says are dividing it into quarters. Okay, I'm going to put that 20 over 1, so we have fractions we're working with. Okay, and we know that when we are dividing fractions, we keep, we change, and we flip. And now 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 0 is 0, over 1, 80 sections. All right, guys, there you go. Make sure that you pause to write down your work. All right. Thanks for hanging out for 10.4. Come on back for 10.5. See you soon.